Welcome back to International Scale Modder. Today we're going to do a review of one of the new Star Wars series from Bandai who have taken over from Fine Moulds. Got the license for the um, uh, all the all new Star Wars kits and everything that's coming out obviously for Series 7 and uh, Episode 7 as well. Uh, now there's been a lot of controversy over these Bandai kits uh, on and off the forums and, and everywhere else saying oh they're, they're rubbish because they're snapped together and all this lot. But personally um, the fine mould kits that are out there are are nice. Uh, they're lacking in a little bit of detail here and there. I've got several back in the UK, um, but uh, it needed a refresh. I think they're old kits, um, and it definitely needed a refresh. Now the license was given to Bandai. Now Bandai have got a great track record in producing uh, plastic and scale models and and all, all such things. Um, you know, they've it's fantastic uh, armor and everything that I've had. Um, uh, the big massive tank, the M1685 or something like that, I think it's called, um, which uh, again, I actually leave in the UK, but I will be hopefully getting that back later on this year. But that aside, Bandai have a proven track record um, and it's the right area of the world, cheap to manufacture and things like that. And um, uh, a lot of outlets to sell this out. Now, at the, as I, review this at the beginning of May these are these kits are not easy to get hold of in the UK uh, you have to pay through the nose for them on eBay or you get them from uh, somewhere like HLJ uh, Hobby Link Japan um, and get them shipped over which once you factor in the shipping costs and everything it's not too bad to be honest with you I, I don't begrudge paying them they're not expensive kits which is fantastic uh, but anyway let's let's get on with the kit and you can make up your own minds by the end of the review what you think whether they're any good or not, basically. So on the box, you've got some nice box art there, obviously flying, uh, flying above the Death Star um, and everything. Uh, this is the X-Wing Starfighter. Good thing about these is, I think the, the majority of them, apart from the figures, are all gonna be in 172 scale, which is brilliant. So you can actually build a, a diorama, or at least they'll all be the similar sort of size, which is fantastic. Um, now, uh, obviously, the box art and everything. Uh, on the on the other side of the box, we have uh, some pictures here where they're all made up. Uh, the artwork and everything, some droids, R2-D2 and a couple of others. And you've got some bits more. Everything's in J Japanese as well, by the way. But this is what it looks like it's built up. Nothing else on my, on my other side. You've then got a, another uh, picture of it built up. And you've also got, it shows you this posable stand, which we will go to in a little bit later. Uh, but again, everything in Japanese because obviously you can only get these in Japan so far. So uh, let's have a look inside the box. It's, um, the box itself is a bit flimsy, but it's a, it's, it looks nice. It's got a nice feel to it. So we'll just get everything out. Okay, and we'll pop that over there. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crack on through all the plastic that's here. So I'll just open up the first one that I get. Now, what I do like already, straight away, everything is in the individually owned sealed bags, which is brilliant, which is how I think all modern kits should be, to be honest with you. Um, let's have a look. Now, you will notice that, uh, pop those over there, do the decals in a little bit. You will notice straight away uh, that these are uh, coloured and the clear parts are actually on the same sprue as other parts as well, which is, um, you know, I th actually I think that's part of the stand by the looks of it, but this, this is the cockpit cover, uh, not painted or anything like that, but you've got the rest of this, this is pre-coloured as you can see, I think these are missiles going down the, the tube on the Death Star, but uh, as you can see, so everything pre-coloured, which isn't, doesn't bother me in the slightest because at the end of the day, I'm going to be priming it, painting it my own colours anyway. Uh, so to be honest with you, the colour of the plastic doesn't really matter. The plastic itself, it's very, all I can say, it, it's very plasticky rather than styrene. Um, so uh, it's, I think you have to take care when you're sanding not to use a rough sander on that because it will really bite into it. Uh, but apart from that, it all seems very nice indeed. Each sprue is well numbered and labelled and everything. I'm just going to zoom you in here because you've got a bit a nice bit of detail here. As you can see, uh, now this is obviously the main uh, rear part of the uh, of the uh, X-wing, and then you've got some of this here. Now this is some fantastic little engraving on there, and something that's going to there's lots of detail on there. It's going to pop out once you've painted it and applied washes and weathered it a bit and everything as well. So it's some great little detail here and there. 
um, and you've got oh, so you've just got odds and sods here. Now, as you can see, also it's everything's got these pin marks, okay, everywhere. Now that is basically because it's a snap together kit, and it all fits together, and, and that's got it. And a lot of people were saying, oh, there's no options to glue it, but. There are options to glue it. Obviously, I'm going to glue mine. Apart from, I think the X-wing's open on this. Apart from that, I am going to glue it. But uh, you know, the, the engraving, the lines—they're very clean. They're crisp. They do pop. Um, I, to be honest with you, I, I'm not going to see. I'm not seeing a problem so far. Nothing that um, we can't make this look. I think we can make this look a very sexy kit already, actually. Just with a little bit of uh, one star modders. But what I do like is that. Doing it this way introduces these models to all types of modelers, not just our serious modelers who like to get down and dirty with a model, but you know, children you know can build these with their fathers, with their parents, and everything. And I think that's a great, great thing um, to get kids into a hobby. Uh, but uh, they've got the second sprue here, so we've got uh, we've got two of the wings um, here, and again some fantastic detail and as you can see all here all these little wires and tubes and everything really really nice detail fan details good the actual figures themselves look fantastic as well for 172 and as you can see again on the back all these snap fit things but let's we'll zoom you in once again so you can have a good look and as you can see some lovely detail on it you've even got these little pipes running across and everything it's gonna be fantastic to pick all that out You've got one of the exhausts there, you know, good detail, it's very clean and crisp, there is not a single hint of flash anywhere. But as you can see, the engraving is nice and clean and crisp, some lovely details to pick out there, um, and it's like a slightly different surface, but again it is all this plastic, you can see on the other side here, it's the other side of the X-Wing. But the figures themselves, okay, as you can see, are very well detailed for 172 and again what I do like about these as you can see here there is no flash on them not even from what I can see a hint of burr anywhere so those figures are going to be very easy to clean up and paint and as you can see there tons and tons of detail really great for one so I'm most impressed with that for 172 I mean you've got obviously a pilot sitting and a pilot standing outside so you can have a diorama and all sorts of things so it's nice that you've got a couple of different types of figures as well that you can you know decide where you want to put them in everything so uh, I'm, a, I'm really impressed with that I like the look of that I must say and being 172 scale as well it's gonna be the right sort of size you know it's um it's not gonna be too big or too small it's gonna be it's just gonna be, I think it's just gonna be the right size They've got two sprues in this one, and obviously here's all the engines and everything. Now, let me just check to see if they're mirrored. They are mirrored, so we'll just have a look at the one. Uh, now, again, you've got uh, a lot of the nacelles and things like this here. And again, fantastic detail. Great detail. I've got to say, I've seen the Fire Models one, and this is better. The detail on that is better than the Fire Models one, as you can see. Okay. Very nice indeed, lots of detail to pick out there. And even on these tiniest of parts, okay, detail there. In fact, I think that's R2-D2's body. It is, yeah, that's R2-D2's body and there's his head. As you can see, great little detail on there. You can pick all that out. It takes some painting skills on that one, I think. But this looks like flaps of some sort. Okay, more detail. I'm really, really impressed, I have to say. I, I, was, well, I came into looking at this and I was thinking to myself, but it's either going to be very good or very bad. I don't think it's going to be a meh one. You know, I think this, these will either be really good or really bad. And I think they're really good so far. You've then got the canopy. Um, and then obviously you pop the glass into that and everything. So there's a frame that goes over the glass. You don't have to paint the glass by the looks of it. So uh, very nice. We then have another sprue with yet more decals in it. I'll pop those over there. Now this is uh, a sprue of the base. Okay, now this I like a lot. I think it's a fantastic idea. Now you've got the base, obviously you can see here, oh yeah, we're going to the overhead, you've got the base. Now this is a picture of the port, uh, or the exhaust port, that they have to fire their, their, rocket, their missiles down um, when they're going down the, uh, the catwalk, the alleyway and everything on the Death Star. So you can pose this 
at the front like that and then have those two little rockets, those pink rockets, you know, going towards it and everything. But you then got, what I'll do like is this base, so I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more on this just so you can see the quality. Now that is uh, meant to be uh, a part of the Death Star and obviously this fits into there um, and you've got obviously other greebles and odds and sods there but you can see the quality of the work and the thought that's gone into that, it's going to make a fantastic little stand and um, you can have legs up or legs down on this um, but you know you can have it on a stand and I think you could probably do both, you can get away with um, you know, I mean, making it interchangeable if you wanted to, so you could do the base. If you don't want to put it on a base, you can pop that away somewhere and then come back and do that. But again, having a look at the detail on here, you can see very well engraved, clean, crisp, with some raised detail as well, which is fantastic. And then you obviously you've got the port and everything. And again, all the detail around here, clean, crisp, and clear, very precise. Um, and I'm really looking forward to building this. I've got to say, I'm. Uh, I'm drooling at the prospect of this, and obviously this is to go into Ga Kiwi Gav's uh, Star Wars SIG, which runs from the May the 4th uh, until the 18th of December when Episode 7 is due to be released. Uh, now we're going to go over to the instruction manual here. Now I have had a quick peek, obviously. Uh, it's good quality and everything, um, and it's, it's like a semi-gloss, a satin finish. The only problem is with this, it is all in Japanese. Uh, but we'll go through it quickly and you can have a quick look and see what you think yourself. Okay, some more instructions. I think that's uh, obviously one of those Microsoft uh, readers. You can pop it with your mobile phone, it takes you to their website and everything. But uh, let's have a look inside. So it's a big one piece of paper affair, which I'm not particularly fan, a, a big fan of, I must say. So I'm just gonna try and find the start. So here we are. So we've got start in the middle. Um, and as you can see, we've got basically, it's a sprue map, a numbered sprue map as well, uh, which is great. So you can take the parts off, clean them up and get them ready and not lose where all the parts are meant to be. Um, now down here, you'll see some other stuff in Japanese. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what they are. I've got to say, they may be, they may be paint references. It could well be paint references, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but anyway, on to the instructions. We've got to go back to the other side on the beginning here. Um, now, first of all, it shows you what the relationships are, how to obviously take bits off of the sprues and everything, um, and, uh, and what have you, which obviously we don't really need to know about. And uh, along the top of this, it shows how the model builds up and clicks together in stages and how it should look and everything. Uh, but starting from the beginning of the instructions, as you can see, it is a snap together. So apparently they're just going tink, 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 and uh, all should be snapped together. But uh, it's not going to be hard to put together. Obviously, they're all properly made to fit and everything. So I, I'm not going to dwell on the, the uh, instructions too hard. But what I what I would look look to do is maybe um, is test fit. The trouble is you can't really test fit before you pop the glue down because they snap together, they're gonna to be hard to pull apart again once you've popped them together. So what I may do is um, on each one, on the male side of the, uh, let's get one for you, just so you can see what I mean. Now you've got the male connectors, obviously female, male. On the male connectors, I may just sand them down a little bit, okay, around here. Uh, just so that I can pop them together, but I can also take them apart again before I click it all together and just change the male ones to make it a bit easier for me to, to test fit and things like that and do what I want to do with it. Uh, now, then you go on to, after obviously you've got your main instructions, as I say, then come over to the other side and on this side, it basically goes through building R2-D2 um, and then popping it all together, how you want your stand, and as you can see there, uh, that's the base plate from, uh, and then obviously these pink, um, I'm not going to tell you what they remind me of, but they certainly don't look like missiles. <laughs> uh, but you could get that pregnant if you're not careful. Um, but if you have a look, as you can see, it's all going putting the legs on. Now, you can put the legs on or have it on the stand. I would imagine you could do both, put the legs on and put it on the stand, but, you know, really... Uh, I would leave the legs, weather them up and everything, put them in a box if you don't want to understand. But to be honest with you, 
I think I'm going to want to put it on the stand. I think that looks too good to waste and not do. So uh, and and it's poseable as well, so you can have it. So you can have the uh, X-wing pointing up and and all sorts of things, which is fantastic. So I really like that. It's a nice touch. So we're going to go on to just the back of the details now. As you can see here, now what ah fantastic. So now what they have included uh, on the back here for us proper modelers, well I say proper modelers, for us modelers uh, is a color code guide as well. So there's your color call outs. Um, <laughs> you know, they're not any particular color, but um, and obviously your transfers and everything. Now, looking at that, I think that's a great touch because they have actually thought about it and they said, right, okay, we can have people who can just snap this together and kids can go and play with it, job done, or models can come in and we can give them a color guide and everything's numbered here. Uh, there's Unfortunately, there's no corresponding number chart to tell you, oh, well, number 41 is X color, number 12 is X color, unless it is there in Japanese, but unfortunately, I can't tell. Um, you know, so uh, it'd be interesting to see when these come out, when we get English uh, instructions, which I'm sure won't be too long. Uh, but anyway, so nice, nice instructions, easy to follow. I don't see any problems with those. One thing I did forget to do was the, the transfers. Now, you've got two sets here, and I would imagine one are transfers and one are uh, decals. Uh, and I can confirm after looking at them, these are pre-cut um, transfers. We'll get you in to, to have a good look. Uh, now these are actually stickers, uh, what we call transfers. So you can, if you're going to build it, snap it together and everything, you can pop these on, job done. It's uh, nice and easy for the kids. I think it's a fantastic idea. And then we also have the decals uh, for modelers, uh, which is fantastic. Now the decals themselves, I'm going to quickly go through it. They seem to be nice colours. They're a satin finish, a, a matte satin finish. I would say the carrier film overlaps a little bit, as you can just see from here. Okay, over past the colour, but not too much. You can live with that. You can, where it's all quite square, you can cut around it as well if you if needs must. Um, what I find strange is you've got a decal to go over uh, the canopy, uh, which is interesting. I'll I'll definitely paint that. Um, but uh, I suppose they're catering to everyone, so it's not bad at all. You've also got a little instrument panel there. I think the cockpit, which uh, we didn't really have a look at, I have to say isn't going to be too well detailed um, but it'd be interesting once you take it apart to have a look oh i don't know there's a few bits and bobs in the cockpit there uh, i would imagine that's the cockpit um so there's, enough, there's some stuff to pick out there as you can see on the sides and everything um but there may be a photo etch set coming out for it later i don't know but i think really it's just imagination take some pictures of some normal cockpits from from the film and you, you know, job done but uh, it's nice that you've got the choice of both as well. So, um, you know, I like that and I think it's very good indeed. So overall impressions, I'm really impressed with that. Um, I've got to say, I had a quick look at the instruction manual. I hadn't had a look at the kit properly. I had a look at the instruction manual. Well, it's thought it was in Japanese, put it back in the box. Um, and uh, I have to say that I think the detail's great. Uh, the fact that it snapped together is uh, neither here nor there at the end of the day. I mean, I'm going to glue it. Um, I might need a little finagling just to make sure that I can put it together and take it apart again before I do build it properly and glue it just to test fit and everything because um, you must always test fit. Uh, but, I mean, having a look on here, you can see the detail that you're going to be able to produce. Um, these little blue spirals around a white thing on the on the, the lasers and everything. Um, it, you can really, really go to town on these. Um, what I do like, they are, the, the best thing about the model is it's open to pretty much anyone who wants to build it. You've got, you can, young kids can come along and build that, slap the stickers on, job done, happy as Larry. You can get the intermediates that would come along and maybe do a little something a little bit different or want to make it nice and on display and make it look nicer, which, which means you probably want to paint up the base or something. Uh, and then you've got modelers who really are just going to completely prime that and start from scratch on it like myself. Um, and uh, so I think, I, to be honest with you, I'm going to give that a good eight and a half, nearly a nine out of 10, a big double thumbs up from me. And I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that in the next couple of months. So uh, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.